What's up, everybody? How you doing? This is Afro DJ Mac, and I've got a brand new Ableton Live pack for you called Haze. And Haze, you are hearing now in the background, is an instrument designed to sound like faded memories, old photographs, lots of nostalgia in here. Um, I'm really going for like the, these like old school synth sounds that maybe have been like washed out on a cassette tape, VHS tape that are just uh, a little bit inconsistent in their pitch and the oscillators and the filters and everything is just uh, kind of moving a little bit. And I think uh, you really like this pack because it really has a lot of character and feeling behind each sound. So let me show what you get when you open up Haze. So there's this ADM Haze Ableton Live project. So you open that up and you'll get this and it's got all of the presets loaded onto tracks already. It's the lessons file, which you can just read a little bit about how he's here. And I've got the samples in this folder, and we've got all the presets. So you can load the presets directly from this folder. And I just want to show you some of these presets and what's going on inside the pack itself. So let me close all this stuff down here and show you an example of a Hayes instrument. This one's called Sirius Brass. And it sounds like this. And I hope you notice the um, movement in there. The pitch is a little wobbly. Even on a single note, you can really hear it. And um, there's some noise and hiss. So I've recorded a lot of these sounds uh, off of analog synths, some digital synths, all programmed to have some slight inconsistencies, like I said before, and recorded them to cassette tapes also. So. They've got a lot of character just from that. And you can see in our instrument, you get control over some of that stuff. You've got a low pass filter and the resonance for that. We've got a high pass filter to cut out the lows. There's an effect called tape warble, which is going to make your sound move in pitch. And you can tell they're all kind of connected by colors because we've got this kind of blue here. And if we go a little bit further down into the tape errors parameter, we can change the speed of that warble, make it nice and slow and subtle. This is how far it's going to move in pitch, and this is how fast it'll move in pitch. Uh, we've got some phasing issues. And that's all controlled with these purple controls here, as well as the chorus. Now you can take this to quite the extreme. All right, we've got a delay, and that corresponds with these controls here. And we've got reverb, which again corresponds with the blue. And we've got a parameter called extra tape hiss. And now this has to do with this second chain down here, this tape hiss parameter. So I just put my release up a little bit. And we can, with our sounds, crank up some extra tape hiss or dial that back and kind of take it out. So this is just some extra flavor if you are interested to just kind of spice up your sound a little. In here, we've got control over our attack, decay, sustain, and release parameters. So that'll affect how long the uh, sound takes to get to its maximum volume and how long it takes to fade out. There's another filter over here. And you get control over the filter envelope here and the time there. We've also got a the control over the filters in here with the filter envelope too. So you can get like a bunch of like really cool, nice movements with the multiple filters. Lots of movement and that's the name of the game here. We can also just move our filter with the LFO. Which is fun too. And that's how pretty much all these instruments work. They're nice and consistent so that you don't have to like relearn every single one of them. And I can just take you through a couple of the sounds here. This one's called Steam. Merc. Soar. Fuzz. 
film. <laughs> it's a nice one with lots of uh, movement and pitch kind of shifting going on. Lots of nice pads. Something I really tried to get going right here is some of the pad sounds. But there are some other things too, like drips. It's kind of a cool sound there. And again, you can hear them moving as they fade out. Kind of more of a lead sound there. This is a nice uh, plucky sound. Definitely like that. Ice drop. Some really nice string sounds in this pack. Definitely enjoying those. Keys is a uh, really nice, almost like Rhodes, Wurlitzer type sound. Love that sound, really nice. And there's a whole collection of these, but uh, I just want you to get a little flavor, a little taste of them. Really enjoying this pack. Um, I've been having a lot of fun. There's a lot of sound samples on the blog post for this pack just because I've been enjoying them so much. And um, I'm finding they're really adding a lot of warmth and character to my tracks. And that's uh, kind of what it's all about for me, um, having something special and unique. And I think this is a really good example of that. So thanks a lot for checking out Haze. I think you're going to love it. It's a lot of fun for me. And uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun for you. So thanks a lot and have a great day.